Hello everyone, let us start with installation of OpenGL on the Ubuntu operating system. When we are going to start installation of Ubuntu operating system, please remember that your machine should be login with the administrator, not as a student, not as a guest login, because we want admin password so as to install all this command. Now let us start. So here is the first command, open terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T. Simultaneously you have to press Ctrl plus Alt plus T. After pressing these three, we are going to get a terminal window open. Now second, we have to start along with the typing a command sudo apt get update. So type this command next to that of a dollar sign. Don't write dollar again and again. It will appear as that as it is. So here just only type the command sudo apt dash get update. And once again you have to press the enter. Next to that step number 5. It will ask for the password. Once you are going to enter this command. It is going to asking for the admin password. So please enter whatever will be your password. And once you have entered the password. Then just only press the enter key. Next to that, it will complete its process as it is. So, there is no need to do from our side. After that, once again there will be dollar symbol. So, after that, we have to type the following command for installation of your OpenGL. That means FreeGlot library one. And then we have to press enter. So, once again it is going to do its process but in between if there is a message like yes or no then just only we have to press y that means yes on the keyboard and press the enter once again next to that this we have installed our frigate libraries to execute our opengl program but we want to check whether it is installed properly or not for that purpose there is a need to test one program that is written in the c++ code so let us start with that how to execute work or how to test the program so first is create the C++ program with the given command so here I am mentioning the command so as to execute or type that C++ program also firstly go to terminal and type the gedit next to the dollar symbol so here is mentioned gedit we have to write within the terminal one and simply press the enter after that this window white color will appear which is a g editor window so within this window we have to type our c++ program so here is the screenshot i have typed the program and we have uh, you can just copy paste or you can type the given program i will provide that within the description one so then you have to just uh, only close the g edit next to that here is the sim sample code which is provided for that uh, testing one here this program code i am going to write in the description also next to that we have to go to once again to the uh, terminal for checking whether our program is going to execute or not for that purpose for the compilation we have to type this command next to that of a dollar symbol after that here is the pressing of enter key. If there is no any error, the window will appear like this. Now, we are ready for execution. For execution, we have to type here command as given. So, here is the command typed for execution. Then press once again enter key. Here is our output after pressing enter. Thus, we have get output of our first OpenGL program. Now, few of the time, if G++ is not installed, then there might be the error. So, as to install this G++, we are having the next command. So, open terminal and then once again type the command sudo apt get update. Next to that, press enter and they will ask once again for the password. So, we have to enter the password of administrator. After that, the screen will appear as by that of a processing one. So, next we have to write the command sudo apt get install g++. This command is for editor means g++ where we are typing our 
C++ program and we are going to execute that one. So there is a need of this G++. After typing this command, we have to press the enter key. After that, we are going to have a successful installation of our C++, that means G++ on the Ubuntu operating system. In the next video, we are going to cover our first OpenGL program as per the SPPU syllabus by making the use of OpenGL.